Do you know what I'm going to try to do yet again? I've I I've said this often before with this video, uh, this camcorder. I don't trust it. I don't realize until I watch later. I'm like, my goodness gracious! If I had just left it at a good zoom, people, you know, could see a heck of a lot more. Anyways, I want to show you uh, and myself because I. I uh, well, if, if people can go, whoa, there's some glaring errors, if that doesn't really make much sense, um, I'd like to hear about it. But I would, uh, this is how I'm going about doing um, replacement units and the command and control structure for the game. It may not be historically accurate or whatever. It's just making sense for my being able to Put things around and I don't seem to within the four day turn structure and from what I'm reading so far um, uh, it seems to be okay uh, also about um, not having to get too crazy with um, complexity because I'd like to do like sure I was like okay well maybe if you want to go a bit too much with um, putting too many replacement units in a depleted division um, I could it, I could affect its combat um, effectiveness for you know maybe a turn or something because you've just put in like a, a huge amount you know you've you've caused a lot of um, well you've uh, upset the chemistry essentially so what I'm trying to uh, explain to you basically is what I'm doing is um, as long as a division um, you, you just can't put in more than half um, their strength points uh, of what they have. So if, if a division, for example, um, at full strength is normally eight, you couldn't, and they were depleted down to two, I couldn't like ram in six. There's just no way. I would have to like slowly get it up there. I love it. I, I swear to God, it's causing me all kinds of flip and grief. I'll give you an example. So here I've got six strength points or replacement units I want to pop in. So what I'm doing right now, as long as um, I can go within four movement points and not through an uncontested zone of control, um, I can put the replacement units uh, and, and place them into divisions that need them. As long as I don't break that uh, rule. So I've got six strength points here. And uh, I would like to load her up. And what I would like to try to do is, uh, like I said, is using that trick of uh, with the Russians is to force a retreat. You need one third of their uh, hits, uh, uh, total strength points. So, for example, this guy right here, four uh, strength points. Um, I'll only need, uh, well, only, I'll need two hits. At five, I would still need two hits. At six, I would still need two hits. But at seven, I'm gonna need three. You see what I'm saying? There's magic numbers, is what I'm trying to say. So there we go. So if I look at around the clock here, and um, there's some, uh, some, excuse me, there's a ton of uh, Opal Cheney uh, People's Militia Brigades here. I cannot, they're, they're stuck at one. And I'm only allowed to use them for counterattacks. I can't use them for attacking purposes. All kinds of things. And they can't, you know, that's it. I'm, I'm okay with it, man. Uh, they're doing great stuff. I mean, they're causing grief because it's enemy zones of control and all that stuff. However, so when I look across the board here, I've got um, the uh, second infantry division, for example, here. They uh, only have one strength point. I can't pop in a ton. I can only give them one. Then I can give them two. You see where I'm going with this? So that's what what I'm I'm trying to do uh, right now, and uh, make those magic numbers. I'd love to have sevens across the board because that'll cause uh, the Austro-Hungarians or uh, sorry Austro-Germans now because they got some freaking Austro-Germans inserted with them or embedded. I think is what the the bloody thing is called or whatever. Um, going to cause some grief and so what I want to do is obviously uh, load her up as much as, as possible and uh, realize that um, you know if the, the Austro-Germans want to try to attack in every spot well it's going to 
cause a, you know, they're going to, you know, they're going to need a lot of supply and uh, troops. And they, you know, so good luck to them is what I'm trying to say. It's not going to happen. So, um, but then, you know, like I said, I've got this monster gaping hole here. And all these Opal Cheney brigades are, you know, they're paper thin. <laughs> One strength point, I can't do much with them. Um, and the Austro-Germans basically have broken through across the river. So what I'm trying to figure out is, uh, son of a bee, there's some way I could, uh, like I said, I can't use these guys to attack. Um, so should I try to uh, figure out some way of plugging up the hole here? Because, I mean, the water is pouring through. Or, um, uh, it's a fun, uh, but, um, and then, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm doing this video because I made a few mistakes here. Yet again, it's because I haven't played this bloody game in ages. Um, thank God I keep notes. Ruski's gone. I fired him ages ago. Or, uh, you know, the people fired him ages ago and that's when they put Danilov in. And then uh, Anatoly Rosenshield from way the heck over here has been brought in. And that's why he's uh, said, no, I'm not telling Bruce Elov what the hell to do. Bruce Elov's like a freaking general for ages. I, I was just a freaking, wasn't even a corps commander for God's sakes. He said like a double promotion. So I forgot about that. It, it, the only reason why I was putting some stuff in and doing some other stuff. Oh, well, I actually got to the third army. I was like, wait a flipping minute. There's something fishy here. I was like, oh my God, it's been ages. And I'm like thinking yet again, like, did I lose some narratives and Lord knows what's, but of course, you know, that's just the way it goes. But then we've got this, um, uh, that bridge. I'd like to know, like, there's obviously a bridge somewhere around in that spot, but I would love to, um, be able to, um, you know, Say, okay, you know, pick a bridge in that spot, <laughs> like in reality, and go, okay, so that's what it, uh, you know, I'm going to say is it, because um, this has been just a, well, like I said, narrative beyond narratives for me. This has just been um, the most um, spectacular uh, one for me, I would say. Um, yeah, that, that little bit there, holy moly. That, uh, the Boob River Bridge, yep. Alrighty, uh, that's it. I just wanted to, I think basically I'm just, yeah, I'm spreading the love around. That's, that's all I can really do. Oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot I'm in a new spot now. Oh my god, I don't even know you can hear it because the speaker is like four trillion miles away. <laughs> oh brother, actually I wasn't even recording. No I am, so what the hell am I saying? It's on the camcorder. I thought I was doing the overhead. Jesus Christ on a crutch. Hold on, I gotta hit the bloody thing. I've got me seen Navy. Um, oh, you'll see tomorrow. All right, see you later.